Welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you showing up and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. So today we're going to talk about travel. Why do people travel and what's the benefit of travel? So there's three reasons why people travel. They travel for leisure, for fun, for vacation. They travel for business and they travel for visiting their friends or their family. And all of those three reasons are just wonderful. There's a lot of times when I traveled for business that I would actually take an extra day to see the town I was in, or at least I got to see um, a part of the country that I would never see. So all of those reasons are really good. They're good. And why do people have the bug to travel? I mean, I know I caught the bug so many years ago and traveling really lifts my spirits. And the thing about traveling is that you get to learn. You learn about somebody else's culture. You get to learn about different food and you get to taste amazing food from different places. And when you're going to another country or even to another state, you're seeing things being done differently than what you're used to. And when you see that, you kind of open up and then you learn and you see that things are not always the same everywhere. And that gives you sort of like an open mind. It helps you to see the world differently. And as you see those things, you can imagine a different way of being, which is kind of fun. It gives you a different way to see the world. And I think that's what travel does for us. It opens up doors to places that we never knew existed. When I went to Italy for the first time, it was so amazing because I've lived in the same town my whole life, except for college. And then except for this part of my life where I've moved, but I was really born and raised in the same town for almost my whole entire life. And so going to Italy and seeing the way the restaurants were, seeing the way you had coffee and the way breakfast was so different. And we're like, well, wait a minute. I want my eggs and bacon. And they're like, what? Are you crazy? We have sweet breakfast here in Italy. So things are different. The way they drink their coffee is different. Um, when I went to other countries, they have their own culture. So it's a way to say our way is not always the best or our way is not only our way. We could do things differently. And that kind that opens up and expands our minds and creates really great memories and knowledge. And I'm an, I'm a gatherer of knowledge. I love doing that. So that's why it rings my bell. What about you? Do you have the travel bug and what makes it tick for you? Another thing that travel does is it opens up your mind to learn how to relax. When you're going on an adventure vacation, you get to see things and you get to do things and it recharges your battery. It kind of resets you um, in a way that you can come back to your work and to really feel refreshed. Um, adventure Travel, going on adventure rides, going to places where you can um, scale mountains or scuba dive, all of those things really refresh your soul. It opens up opportunities for you to learn new things and to reset and recharge. There's also those vacations where you're just laying on the beach and just chilling out and uh, relaxing, whether you're in the sun or in the shade. Those are always so nice. I love the mixture of relaxing and adventure and and seeing things. You know, it's always nice to combine all of those things together because it gives you, you know, a taste of the different worlds, you know, it's, it's really nice. And lastly, one of the things travel does is it also gives you more self-confidence because traveling sometimes can be challenging. 
And as a person traveling, you have to um, read signs in different languages, even though everything's in English. But still, you know, you have to navigate your way into international airports or even big airports that you're not used to going to um, in this in this country. Um, you have to figure out to get from place A to B, get to your hotel, navigate restaurants, figure out where you want to go. How are you going to, you know, where's what trips are you going to do? What excursions are you going to do? So you start to build up your confidence that you can do anything. You can stand in your own power and figure out how to make travel happen. There are so many women out there right now that are traveling solo. And that is so wonderful that they're out there traveling, experiencing, and not letting anything stop them. And that's why I really want to focus on women travel so that we can travel together and really experience traveling together with like-minded people. So it's finding your niche, finding what serves you. Do you want to travel alone? Do you want to travel with your family? Do you want to travel with a group that of like-minded people? Do you want to travel with a group of strangers that you don't know? It's all so wonderful and and awe-inspiring from what, you know, how I think of it, because traveling just creates so much excitement and, um, and sometimes things go wrong and you have to problem solve. And that's another way that builds your confidence. And, um, so I don't know. I think that that's pretty cool. And as you build your confidence and get all that, you can overcome your obstacles. You can figure out where you need to go, what you need to do and, um, and make friends along the way, make new friends along the way. You never know who you're going to meet and where you're going to meet them and how they can open doors to who knows what. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that so much. And if you haven't already, I have a free download link that I'll have um, in the description box below where you can get my packing list and my to-do list that would help you on your next vacation. <laughs> so have a great day and ciao for now. Bye.